Hello, hello, I'm Albert Siegel, and today I'm going to look at the new HD Pentax DA Star 1650mm f2.8 PLM AW lens. I think I've got that. It's quite a title, but I've got it. This lens has been under development for quite a bit. Part of a revamp of the Star Lens series with a renewed focus on the highest possible image quality, it's a totally redesigned replacement for the previous SMC model. As you can see, other than the color scheme, they look nothing alike. The new 1650 is big and thicker, but it's also said to be vastly improved both in image quality and focus speed. So looking at some snapshots I took of my friend, clearly the image quality is fantastic, as is usually the case with Pentax star lenses. The colors and bokeh are very pleasing, and thanks to the eye tracking feature of the new K3 Mark III combined with the PLM motor in the new lens, focus was spot on. Of course, as this is a replacement for an already excellent lens, I thought I would compare the two. Again, thanks to my lovely friend, you can see that while the previous 16-50 was excellent, the new version is even better. The colors feel deeper and more pleasing in my eyes, with the bokeh ever so slightly smoother. It also produces a bit more pop than the older lens does. Both have excellent sharpness in the center even wide open at the 16mm end, but the corners show noticeable improvement on the new lens. Stopping down improves the situation on both lenses, but the corners are clearly much better on the new lens over the old one, even at 5.6, being nearly as sharp in the corner as the center of the old lens. Looking at 50mm wide open at 2.8, the new lens is clearly far superior in the corners with even the center looking sharper. Also, the new lens does not suffer from fringing problems like the old one does. The new lens has a more uniform sharpness across the frame, which is a nice step up from the old version. Looking at the design again, much like most mirrorless lenses, there is no distance scale, but that seems to be the way it is when you design a stills lens to also be able to autofocus like a video lens. Yes, this lens is built looking forward to keep up with more advanced future bodies. The new HD 16-50 is basically silent during movie mode. The autofocus recording is very smooth even if a bit slow, but that speed will improve as more advanced bodies come out in the future. Clearly this combo is not for filming your kids running around, but it can at least autofocus well enough for some situations. My final thoughts, it's a fantastic lens and well worth the purchase. It's a massive update over the previous version in terms of build quality and optical quality, and pretty much one of the best APS-C lenses of any manufacturer, and by far the best APS-C lens of any camera for DSLRs. So if you are one who's not a fan of mirrorless and prefer to stick with your DSLRs, this is a no-brainer. It's a must-have, so give it a try. You'll like it.